Philadelphia, Monday night took lead for sixth time in his major league career, but when Bryson Stott hit third innings, they were two out and no one on base. It's 0-2 down to the reigning National League Cy Young Award winner. Sandy Alcantara had smashed several platinums from the inside against Stott on the first inning. I really didn't want to be stuck with him, Stott said. On the third, he took two quick balls to even the point. Stott trained Alcantara. That's what a good hitter does, and it's easy to forget sometimes. This was Stott's 504th plate appearance in a regular season game. Relegated to second place in the standings, Tria Turner watched Stott's step-by-step matchup with Alcantara from the deck circle. It doesn't matter who's on mound, Turner said after the Phillies beat Marlins 15-3. He continues to put together good hits, and that's why he took the lead today. Stott was rewarded for his struggle. The Alcantara threw something onto the plate with a 93 miles per hour change at the outer edge. After these two fast balls, I'm glad I stayed in the change, Stott said. Served left midfield for a single. Stott stole second base. He scored in a single turn a bloop to the right. It wasn't hard to imagine this becoming a formula for future rosters. The Phillies took three more rounds to land a five-round hit. They scored four more in the fifth inning and four more in the sixth inning. Bryson Stott stole second base on the third inning. Perhaps a left-handed hitter, Stott is back on top Tuesday night. Maybe not. There will be a left-handed on the mound. But throughout the spring, the Phillies were confident Stott, Alec Bohm and Brandon Marsh could each live up to higher expectations if they took a step forward. Stott has a 10-game winning streak. He has more than one hit in seven of these matches. He swings the bat really well, Turner said. Even when he's out, I feel like I'm hitting the pitches well. The previous night, Rob Thompson texted Stott that he would go ahead against Alcantara. The manager knew he would put the catcher JT to rest. Real Muto, and that meant mixing things up. Instead of moving multiple people, he put Stott on top and slid Turner and Kyle Schwarber down one row. It was the least disruptive route. Last summer, Thompson shone about Stott's potential to become a leading hitter. In winter, the Phillies went and signed a man with all excellent leadership qualities for $300 million. So Turner was that man. What if he hits second instead? It moves Schwarber to third place in the series, a more traditional power point. It really stretches line, Thompson said, and now gives us two guys on Hill who can break into base and steal bases, wreaking havoc. The more Thompson talked about it, the more he seemed to believe it could work. But even if Phillies decide it's best to stick with the plan they've brought to season, They know that Stott is worth a look later on if circumstances warrant. I just see Bryson's hits, Thompson said before the big win. This is a testament to the work that Stott, 25, has put into his approach to the plate. On Monday a year ago, his major league career was two games old. He was just learning what it took to deal with the best shooters in the sport. Less than three weeks later, she was back in the minors. He has 17 hits in his first 40 hits this season. He didn't save his 17th hit in 2022 until June 8th on his 95th hit. Beginning in June, he was different hitter, earning him the job of a defender on team that came two games after winning the World Series. I always thought he fit the mold of a leading man, Thompson said. He knows the attack zone. He uses the whole area. He can hit. He enters the base. Bryson Stott made safe hits in each of the first 10 games. He showed his progress in the second inning against Alcantara on Monday. Stott took the first fastball from Alcantara for a hit at 97 miles per hour. He fouled a slider on his knees for the second inning. He fouled another fastball at 98 miles per hour. Then, he took those two fastballs and brought them in. It didn't try to make the next change. 
You know you're going to strike, Stott said of Alcantara. It has some of best things in the game, if not best. So if you completely lose your focus, it will be a quick hit. I think you just stay focused, and try to take the right step against him. This is a theme in the first 10 games for Stott. He's confident and comfortable enough to wait for his shot. He was exposed on a regular fastball diet, after last season. He re-watched these hits during the off-season, and made adjustments to his shot to cover some of those holes. He's hitting fastballs in the first 10 games this season. I still miss some things here and there. But I feel much more timely now than in the past. So that's always a plus. Tied to Alcantara's change, it was Stott's fifth hit this season, after starting with a 0-2 shot. He took sixth most such draw MLB later in the game, there were 12 hole last season. He's doing what Phillies envisioned when they picked him with the 14th pick in 2019 MLB amateur tryouts. At UNLV, Stott was ahead. He did it for the little ones too. I get the same thing with bats. Maybe that's the beauty of Stott's work right now. His approach, when he was at the bottom of the lineup, could stick him wherever Thompson wants. He looks like a striker, who could take a meaningful step forward in his minor league season. That doesn't mean he's leaving tomorrow, Thompson said. We'll talk about that after the game. After the game, Thompson had something to think about, and that was very tempting.